Hey y'all, here's a lesson in improvising in the Aeolian mode. This is the natural minor mode. We're gonna do it in D minor. Let's look at the basic scale starting on that string in D minor. Now we can add these notes down here if we want. And that is what's known as the third position of the major scales. Um, if you need to know more about major scales, I've got a video on that. Check it out. I'll put a link up here. Um, but this is the third position of the major scales. This is the D. That's our root, basically. This is kind of the starting point of uh, this progression in this key, um, this tonal center. So what we've got here is 5, 7, 8 on the A string, 5, 7, 8 on the D, 5, 7, 5, 6, 8, 5, 6, 8. And then 8, 6, 5 on that bottom string, if you want to add some notes to that. Now, so that is what's known as the third position of the major scale. So if we come back here to this lower one, we're also going to need to work out of this area. This is the second position of major scales. That's actually the Dorian mode of the second scale. Of the, we're in the key of F when we're in this D minor tonal center. This is the sixth chord of that key. So what we're going to be doing is a six to two chord progression in the key of F. Now since it's in D minor, you could look at it as a, a one four, a minor one four. This G being the four of D. So I like to look at it as a minor 1-4 in D. That helps me keep my tonal center in my head and everything. Okay, so let's look at the scale down here again. 3, 5, 6, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5, 3, 5, 6, 3, 5, 6. So we've got those two positions to work with. So let's get right into it. I'll play you those chords. I'm going to play you a D minor 7 and a G minor 7. And you're going to use any of the notes of these two scales. And improv improvise a little bit over those two chords and see how it goes. And then we'll worry about arpeggios and things like that right after this, okay? Three, four. Okay, so I'm going to solo a little bit just using that scale. Now I hit a G there because it's on the G chord at that point. So think about where these notes are. Here's a D. There's a G right there. It's going to match your G chord. arpeggio there. It's part of the D minor arpeggio. So arpeggios are real important to get close to the chord notes, finding the chord tones over these different changes. But you can also just jam through the scale and use your ear. That note sounds kind of cool, but that one is more to the chord. Listen to this one. That one's not in the chord. That one was. That one's in that chord too. So being able to see the arpeggios is really important. So you guys give it a shot. Play through that hole. Any notes of the scale that you want. Use your ear. That note you play on that chord change, your ear should tell you if that's in that chord or not right away. You can tell if there's tension there, or you can tell if there's uh fits right in, like it, you know, it's part of the chord. 
Okay, another thing we could do is look at the minor pentatonic for D. We'll start in that area we're already in. So that's gonna be five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, six, eight, five, eight. This one here was the fourth position of our minor pentatonic positions. So this would be the third. The one that's got those three in a row. So we got all the pentatonic positions. Um, let's look at those real quick. So we got this first one, five, eight, five, eight. It's kind of our, I'm calling it first, it's really the fourth, but it's, this is our area we're working out of, so that's kind of like our number one position for this context. Now let's look at this one again. Okay, and then let's look at the what would be the second position. Three, uh, one, three, oh, three, oh, three, oh, two. One, three, one, three. Okay, then we're going to look at the fifth position. It's going to be on the eighth fret. Eight, ten, eight, ten, seven, ten, seven, ten, eight, ten, eight, ten. That's the beauty of the pentatonic is you can roll that over either chord and use your ear a little bit, everything's gonna sound great. Then there's other steps to take to get further into it and get more into extra chord changes in this mode and we'll look at those later. Arpeggios, things like that will be coming up. Here's our first position of minor pentatonic for D, 10th fret. How about you guys take a little gander on that? You got five different pentatonic positions to try. Go for it. That scale, the Aeolian mode. Okay, we're gonna look at these arpeggios now. So we got the D minor 7 arpeggio. And then we have the G minor 7 arpeggio. Okay, so we got those two different arpeggios. Like I said, if we want to look at the G minor arpeggio up in here. Five, eight on the D, and then we got seven, and six, eight, six. You can hit the ten if you want. So instead of having to jump back all the time, it's good to be able to see both arpeggios within the same area. Say if we were down here, we're looking at the G minor seven arpeggio. We could look at, we could flip our D minor seven around and see it like this: five, three, two, five, three, six, five. That way they'd both be in that same area there. Now up here, we could do the 10th fret. We got our D minor seven, we got our G minor seven right there next to it. So obviously you see these enough and you're gonna remember them, you're gonna be able to do them in whatever chord, whatever key, whatever place. So I wanna do one more thing with this. I want to 
I want to add two chords to our progression. We're going to do the D minor 7, the G minor 7, and then we're going to do B flat major 7, which is 6 here. Skip the A, 7, 7, 6. Mute the bottom E as well. B flat major 7 to A dominant 7, 5, 7, 5, 6, 5, 5. And we have different arpeggios for those. So we got B flat major 7 arpeggio. 6 on the big one, and then 5, 8, and then 7, 8, 7, 6, 5, 6. You could also add that one if you want. We got the A dominant 7, 5, and then 4, 7, 5, 7. I like to bring that first finger up to let the rest of it play out better. You got 7, 6, 5, 8, 5, 9. Add the three to that. One more time. A7 arpeggio. Back to the D minor. Okay, so one more time. We got D minor 7. Here's its arpeggio. G minor 7. Here's its arpeggio. We got B flat major 7. A dominant 7. So let's get these chords going. Two, three, four. We do four bars of D minor seven. G minor seven. Back to D minor seven. And then we have the B flat to A chords. B flat major seven. Seven, D minor 7 and then we do those two chords again as we turn around okay so now we got this progression going did you notice how that 6 didn't sound too great over that that 5 and 8 did so that's things your ear can tell you that one sounded a little out of place right that one doesn't sound too good. So you find the little notes that sound great at the time, and the ones that don't, you learn to avoid some, and you learn to play off some. And some you will avoid until it's moment that it is in the chord, and then you drop it down, and it sounds great. So, so if I'm in the pentatonic there, I'm not going to hit any of those weird notes. I'll go to G. Think of the G arpeggio a little bit. arpeggio can really help you because you're going to that different chord that's got a lot of character to it. You want to be able to bring out the chord tones of that. The rest of the time you can... Do your blues kind of stuff. Flat fifth. But when you get to that next chord... See that wasn't in the pentatonic but it's in the G minor 7 arpeggio so that's going to use... the G within that same pentatonic for D. You could stay in pentatonic. Not even worry about the changes. then this one was in the other one's arpeggio. So sometimes it's the note right next to you you switch to. Sounds great. Not a lot of movement needed.
this into that A7, you actually bring in a different note than the scale normally has. So remember how the scale had five, six, eight, and then to the five? Well, we have a four in here now all of a sudden. That's a modulation that goes into the harmonic minor mode for a quick second there. Our scale notes, we're using these notes, they start including that as part of that arpeggio. So that's a cool little thing. You do that little slidey thing into there. Minor three to major three thing happening. Three, four. You can do minor pentatonic. You can do the whole scale of the Aeolian mode. You can be thinking of arpeggios. You can still be in the minor pentatonic for D right now, but just kind of think of the G a little bit more right there. And on these changes, you can go to the arpeggios, but you can also just stick into the uh, blues scale. Turn around. One more time through. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Like and subscribe if you dig it. Um, Damon Wood, we'll catch you with more. Let me know in the comments if there's any questions you have, anything I skipped or didn't uh, fully explain. And let me know if there's any requests you have for other lessons. And thanks a lot. Take care.